Please, keep calm. I beg of you. We'll calm down when we get what we want. Yeah, Nomad's out. Kick the Yukos out right now, or the strike will get worse! I know just what you mean, my dear friends, and... It's all words. We want action. Listen, my dear friend. Mr. Mayor? Yes? What now? Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Please forgive me for intruding like this without an appointment at all, but I'd just like to start off by saying thank you for your time. I know how precious it is. You are completely forgiven, my dear lady. How can I help? Do you think it would be possible to open the locks in the port? Hmm. I beg your pardon? Did you say the locks? What on earth for? Well, I'm actually accompanying the Yukul tribe on their long journey right now, Mr. Mayor. I've asked Captain Obo if he would take us to the other side of the lake on the crystal to now dusk. Oh, Captain Obo. The crystal. The Yukuls. Do go on. Anyway, it would be very ungracious of me if I were to criticize you for removing that burden from our good town. Nonetheless, I'm afraid I must refuse your request, dear lady. The locks will remain closed until further notice. This decision came from above, you understand? My time is pre- I know you and the other people here would love to see the Yukos leave this region. And they will if you authorize the opening of the locks. So it's time to stop stalling, Mr. Mayor. Listen to your people and let the crystal leave. Who on earth do you think you are? I'm just following orders. Anyway, no foreigner and an American at that. We'll lay down the law here. Well then, what- You're the mayor, and it's you and you alone who can decide what's right for Valsumbur. So why not reassert your authority once and for all? Authorize the opening of the locks. I could do it, of course. But it's complicated, understand? I'm listening. If you solve this problem, you'll become a kind of crusading hero to your voters. You'll earn the undying support of everyone in Valsambur. And your superiors won't be able to do anything to you. Hmm. Well, I have to admit, dear lady, that your arguments have convinced me. I am authorizing you to open the port lock so the crystal can leave. Nonetheless, you should know that there is a technical problem that means the locks have to be opened manually. I imagine that such an inconvenience isn't likely to deter a woman as determined and resourceful as you. Do you mean that? Yes, as the local technician is absent, I'm afraid you'll have to delve into the murky waters yourself to open the locks. Nonetheless, this should help you use the underwater mechanism. But how am I supposed to dive? That, dear lady, is your problem, I suppose. Do have an excellent day. Thank you.
Well? The mayor agreed to let us open the locks, but one of us is going to have to go down into the port to activate the mechanism manually. Hmm. We have all the equipment we need in the shed at the end of the seawall, but you'll have to be the one who goes, miss. As you can see, my keel's been hauled too many times for that. I've never gone diving. But if you think I'll be fine down there, I don't mind trying. This has to stay between the two of us, Kate. There's something you need to know about the locks. They're also there to stop the lake monster from entering the port. Anyway, that's what I heard. But at this time of day, there's no risk. That spawn of hell sleeps all day. Do you really believe there's a monster down there in that lake? You know, 20 years ago, it really wasn't Paranor that I was afraid of. Not the deaths, the radiation. That's what people say, but the truth is that it was actually that damn monster that made me scoot away like a minnow. It was lurking around Paranor, drawn by the stench of the graves, probably. I saw its red eyes staring at me, Miss Walker. That's something you never forget. Where's a suit I can use? Meet me in the shed at the far end of the seawall. There should be something just about your size. I mean, near enough, anyway. Underwater? How am I supposed to open the lock gates? They're kept in place with some kind of steel locks. Just try and pull them out using their mechanism. All right. There's nothing to it. Meet me in the shed at the end of the seawall. I open the shed for you. I need something that I can fill.
Nothing. I must have forgotten something. Nothing. I must have forgotten something. That can't be the right setting. 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 to get all the equipment together and get it ready before I change. I can use these to go diving now. I can use these to go diving now. I can use these to go diving now.
I won't be able to open the locks while the bolts are activated. Let's try something else. I won't be able to open the locks while the bolts are activated.
could have left these marks. Well done, Kate. I could not have done better myself. <sighs> well, if everything's ready, I'll go and get the Yukels right away. In the meantime, I'll go and make sure that everything's all set. By the time you come back here with the Nomads, we'll just have to cast off. Perfect. I'll see you later, Captain. Miss Kate Walker found another way for Yukos to cross Sacred Lake? Yes, it's unbelievable. I found a boat that can take all of you and your herd, too. The captain, Captain Obo, is waiting for us at the port. First, we all must wait Kirk. Guide of Yukos, made like new with his new magic leg. Simon Steiner, the Valsenbor clockmaker, finished Kirk's prosthesis and took it to the clinic. They're going to come down together and meet us on board the crystal. So Yukels make use of night to pick up entire camp. Much, much work for us tonight. <laughs>
done! Great! Now we're really getting somewhere. It's just a minor setback. As long as their spiritual guide is here, in our hands, the nomads are going nowhere. I hope you know what you're doing, Olga Efimova. The rest of my men won't be arriving for another few hours. It'll be hard to keep those savages here without breaking heads. And I don't want to create a scandal here in the Balsam War. Don't worry, Colonel. If we do it my way, we won't need your army of mercenaries to solve the Yukul problem once and for all. My god, what on earth can they be doing? What are they doing? Please calm down, Captain. Sarah promised to send Steiner and Kirk down as soon as they get there from the clinic. I'm sure they'll show up. It doesn't matter if they turn up now or an hour from now. We were supposed to leave before night time. I'm warning you, there's no way I'm taking my ship out onto the lake just when it's the monster's meal time. Listen, if it makes you feel better, we can leave tomorrow at dawn. Until then, I'll go see how everyone is getting on. And you try and calm down a bit. Everything will be fine, Captain. Kate! Sarah, is everything all right? It's Grandfather. He hasn't come back from the clinic. Maybe putting on Kirk's prosthesis took more time than he thought it would. That's just what I thought, too. But when I took the vernacular to go look for him in the clinic, I saw everything up there has been closed up, and there are armed men in the lobby. Oh, maybe those are the soldiers with that colonel who's chasing us. They're holding Grandfather. I just know it. I have to go save him. Young Tak Moon is right. Miss... K Miss Kate Walker must hurry and go back to clinic and save Kirk. And Grandfather, what will you do about him? Answer me. Kate! No way, I won't leave anyone behind. Miss Kate Walker must not forget all the things that Yukols did for her. Remember, you a Grandfather a lot too. Calm down, both of you. I'll bring them back, but I need the two of you to keep your heads. Miss Kate Walker must take this. We'll need it up there. What's that? And how can you know what I might need? Spirits not just send really bad signs. <laughs> now, Miss Kate Walker must return back in clinic. I'm off. In the meantime, tell the captain to be ready to leave. Too bad if it's dark out. If the colonel and his men are really up there, we'll need to leave the second I come back here with Kirk. <laughs>